Now that we've done the easy ones, the 10, the 5, and the 2, let's look at some other mods. All right, so let's start with mod 6. In mod 6, we know our answers will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So take an easy one, 8 mod 6. It's just 2. 8 minus 6 is 2. When they're small, we can just subtract. Um, how about 28 mod 6? <clears throat> if you wanted to, 28 mod 6, we could do the way we did before, where we did the division. So you could say 28. And I'm going to divide that by 6, and it will give me 4. I know 4 times 6 is 24. So when I subtract 28 minus 24, I get 4. All right, so there's one way to do it. <clears throat> um, how about if I gave you 60 plus 15 mod 6? Well, let's always make it easy on ourselves. And as soon as you notice something easy like 60, I know 60 is a multiple of 6, so it is 0 when I look at mod 6. So I can drop the 60 altogether. I can look at 15 mod 6 and see that that's just 3. Thinking 16, or I was thinking 6 times 2 is 12, 15 from, um, minus 12 is 3. Or you could do 15 minus 6 is 9, 9 minus 6 is 3. That works too. Remember, we're just looking for remainders. All right, here's a negative. Remember with the negatives, we need to add a positive multiple of 6. So I added 18. When I do negative 14 plus 18, I get 4. Another choice is I could take negative 14 and I could add 6 because that's the number I'm dealing with. And so if I do, um, if I do that, and I have negative 14 plus 6, um, that gives me negative 8. Okay, then if I do negative 8 and I add 6 again, it gives me negative 2. I'm going to add 6 one more time, and that gives me 4. So I did the same thing. Over here I added 18, but here I added 6, 6, and 6, which is also 18. So you get to pick your strategy, you'll get the same answer. All right. What if I give you something big, like 892? Well, 892 mod 6 is 4. But let's talk about how did I get that. So on my calculator, I put 892 divided by 6, and it gave me 148.667. I don't really want the 0.667. So what I'm going to do is take the 148, multiply by 6, and it says I have 888. So I'm going to take my original 892, I'll subtract the 888, which my, is my multiple of 6 part, and it says I have 4 left over. Okay, so let's try just some random other ones. How about 10 mod 7? Well, that one will be 3. 10 minus 7 is 3. 12 minus 8, again a small number. I can do 12 minus 8, and I get 4. <clears throat> Sorry. And then 21 mod 4 would be 1. I'm thinking... 20 as a multiple of 4, I subtract the 20 from 21, and it gives me 1. Okay, let's try a few more. Say I had 16 mod 3. So with mods, I tend to think of multiples of the number. So with 3, I'm thinking 15. 16 minus 15 is 1. Um, 41 mod 7. I notice students you generally have a harder time with these numbers. They don't do multiples with as much. You guys are great with multiples of 2, multiples of 5, 10. But then I start throwing you something like 7. And I just want to say, well, you have your choices again. You could go back to your calculator and do 41 divided by 7. So 41 divided by 7 in my calculator says 5... 0.857, and it kind of goes on. What you really want to take from here is the 5. Okay, so I think 5 times 7 is 35. So I do 41 minus 35, and it gives me 6. Okay, takes a little bit of time, but that's normal for math. Math usually has multiple steps. So if you're really good at multiples of numbers, this will come easier for you. No big deal if you're not. You have tools to help you get through these numbers. If you want to go a long way, you could also go 41 minus 7, minus 7, minus 7. Keep going until you get a single digit. All right. So 37 mod 8, same idea. I could say how many times does 8 go into 37? So you can write that, 37 over 8, 
and I'll tell you again what happens when you put it in the calculator. It says 4.625. All right, throw the 65 away, keep the 4. 4 times 8 is 32. So I take 37 minus 32 and get my 5 as my answer. Okay. So how about you try? Here's a bunch of problems, so this should take you a little bit of time. You want to make sure you pause the video. Notice I pulled the 5, 2, and 10 back in just to give you more practice, and I threw some more. 3, 4, and 6 at you. So give yourself a couple minutes, come back, and let's check together. Okay, so let's start with the 17. 17 mod 5, easy, that's just 2, right? Remember we talked about how many 1s would we have to give. 23 mod 2, remember with 2, you're thinking even or odd. 23 is odd, so my answer is 1. 78 mod 10, with mod 10 I can just look at the 1's unit, so that gives me 8. 11 mod 3. So you could be thinking 3, 6, 9. So 9 is close to 11. 11 minus 9 is 2. With 17 mod 4, I'm thinking about the number 16 as a multiple of 4. So 17 minus 16 gives me 1. And with 33 mod 6, I'm thinking about the number 30, 30 being a multiple of 6. And then 33 minus 30 gives me 3. So just make it a little bigger. This time I'm doing some arithmetic. And again, I want you to pause the video and try these on your own and then come back and let's check them together. Um, and just add, maybe do some simplification first. Pay attention to the negatives I threw in there as well. Um, and then come back and let's check it out together. Okay, so the first one. 3 plus 8 gives me 11. 11 mod 7, I can just do 11 minus 7 is 4. Right. With 8 plus 2 mod 4, I just wanted to show you how to an alternative this time. You could do 8 mod 4 plus 2 mod 4 if you want to. So 8 mod 4 is 0. 8 is a multiple of 4. 2 mod 4. 2 is less than 4, so I leave it as 2. So I just get the answer 2. 1 minus 15 gives me a negative number. I have negative 14. So remember, I need to add a positive multiple of the mod. So I'm going to add 15 to it. Negative 14 plus 15 gives me 1. Um, 17 plus 20. Neither one of those are multiples of 6, so I'm just going to go ahead and add those together. 17 and 20 gave me 37. When I'm thinking about 37 with mod 6, I think, well, 6 times 6 is 36. So 37 minus 36 gives me 1. The last one, 2 minus 43 gives me negative 41. So here's a negative again. I think I need to add a multiple of the mod, and my mod is 10. So I'm at negative 41, let's add 50. Negative 41 and 50 gives me 9. Okay. So let's try one more set of no, um, mods. These are all going to be 9s, and I have a few slides of these. Um, but go ahead and try these first, see if you can figure out how to do them, and then I'm going to show you a trick about them. All right, so let's look at our answers. Start with 10 mod 9 would be 1. 10 minus 9 is 1. 13 mod 9 is 4. 13 minus 9 is 4. 21 mod 9. Well, now 21 is bigger, so I start thinking about the number 18. So 21 minus 18 is 3. And then 41 mod 9, even bigger. So I'm thinking, well, 9 times 4 is 36. 41 minus 36 is 5. But check this out. All right. Look at 10. 10 mod 9. Do you notice if I take the 1 and the 0 and add them together, 1 plus 0 is 1? And that was my answer. Same thing with 1 and 3. I, we said our answer was 4, but 1 and 3 is equal to 4, and I have this 4. 2 and 1 makes 3, so the sum of the digits gave me my mod. And then 4 and 1 gave me 5, which was my answer. So this is a really cool feature of 9, is that to find answers mod 9, all you have to do is sum the digits. If you happen to have a big um, number and it comes out to be a double digit, then you'll just continue to add them until you get a single digit. Um, remember that multiples of 9 are going to come out non mod 9 is 0, but look at multiples of 9 that you're really familiar with that you learned from your times tables back in elementary school. 9 times 1 is 9. 9 times 2 is 18, but 1 and 8 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 2 and 7 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36. 3 and 6 is 9. 9 times 5 is 45. 4 and 5 is 9. 9 times 6 is 54. 5 and 4 is 9. 9 times 7 is 63. 6 and 3 is 9. 
9 times 8 is 72, and again, 7 and 2, 9. 9 times 9 is 81, 8 and 1 is 9. So this is a cool feature of 9 that does not happen for other numbers. You could go back and think about your multiples of 5 or 10 or whatever you want to and add them up. You won't have the same property that they all come out to be the number you started with. Um, so use that even for a bigger number. Let's say I pick something like 99, which is 9 times 11. 9 plus 9 is 18. But go a little farther, 1 and 8 is 9. So we always want to go down to a single digit when we do these answers. Even if I had 999, 9, 9 times 111, 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27, 2 and 7 is 9. So this continues to work no matter how big the number becomes. Okay, so look how easy mod 9 is now. So if I give you 412 mod 9, 4 plus 1 plus 2 is 7. If I give you 113 mod 9, 1 plus 1 plus 3 is 5. 745 mod 9, 7 plus 4 plus 5. So 7 plus 4 is 11, plus 5 is 16. We don't stop. Break it up more. 1 and 6 is 7. So every time you do in mod 9, get down to a single digit before you give me the answer. 2029, 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 9. So 2 plus 2, 4, 4 and 9, 13, 1 and 3 is 4. 9 is my favorite mod, easiest one to do because all you're doing is summing the digits. What you have to do is make sure you kind of look at the strategies for each one of them um, so that you can remember why you're supposed to do with them. All right, after this, we're going to look at how to solve some equations using.